Good afternoon. I'm Chance Nix, Superintendent of Catoosa County Public Schools. I want to thank you personally for agreeing to volunteer your time and serve on your school's local school governance team. Catoosa County Public Schools became a charter system in 2016. Adopting the charter system model with distributed leadership and decision making through local school governance teams has had great success in our system. Today, I will present the direction for our charter contract. I know some of you have been serving on an LSGT for several years, but for those who are new, I will review the innovations we included in our original charter application. Katusa U. Katusa U provides high school students with authentic work experience through internships in the school system that are paid by the school district. The technology internship piloted in 2016 and it has continued successfully. Partnerships with post-secondary schools to increase dual enrollment. We have strong partnerships with Georgia Northwestern Technical College and Dalton State College. High school students may earn up to 30 hours of college credit free through these colleges while they are earning high school credit for graduation. From here to career. This was originally planned as a high school class to connect students with employers and it has become our college and career initiative. Let's get connected is our one-to-one -one technology initiative. We are purchasing new technology devices for every student this year and updating 21st century technology in every classroom. Middle School Katusa Online Academy. We launched this initiative as a few classes for middle school students and with COVID we have now offer a full curriculum for middle and high school students to enroll in school online. STEM opportunities. Some LSGTs fund STEM teachers with charter system funds. Every student in Catoosa County has the opportunity to participate in the annual technology competition. Flexible scheduling. With the online academy for grades K through 12, the district can provide flexible scheduling to meet a variety of individual needs for any student. To prepare for a new strategic plan and our charter system renewal last spring, the Board of Education launched a survey in April 2021 to receive stakeholder input. Over 1,300 people participated in the survey, with 75% of the responses being from parents. The questions asked were, question one, what are the greatest challenges the school district must address over the next five years to provide a quality education for all students? Question two, what are the most important skills and abilities students need to be able to do and to know to be prepared for a successful future? Question three, what evidence do you use to calculate the quality of education in our district? In question four, what financial priorities should the school district establish for the next five years? The chart on your screen summarizes and compares stakeholder responses on all four survey questions. School improvement goals are highlighted in red. Twelve of the top responses align with improving student achievement. Nine of the responses are marked with asterisks. The overwhelming theme from the survey is that stakeholders expect the school system to prepare students with skills to be successful in college and career after they graduate from high school. Two personnel goals are highlighted in blue. Stakeholders support recruiting quality educators and retaining them by providing competitive salaries and benefits. Operations goals are highlighted in orange. These are consistent with our previous surveys to maintain safe, secure, and well-maintained schools. Eastblast 
makes it possible for us to accomplish these goals. Technology goals are highlighted in green. Stakeholders believe providing technology is a great challenge over the next five years and it should be one of our highest financial priorities. Student services goals are highlighted in purple. We were fortunate to achieve the goal from our last strategic plan to have SROs in all schools. Now stakeholders identify that mental health professionals and services should also be a priority. The majority of stakeholders indicate that college and career readiness is a priority. So the following priorities are addressed in our new five-year contract. Preparing students to be college and workforce ready. Mastering workplace soft skills. Mastering personal management skills. Understanding consumer and financial skills. Mastering communication skills. Understanding how to collaborate, work productively, and resolve conflict. Graduating with college credit, career technical certificates, diplomas, and degrees. Participating in career technical pathways and providing a variety of career tech pathways and opportunities. The system's new charter contract represents a paradigm shift. A new culture will permeate throughout the system emphasizing career exposure in elementary school, career exploration in middle school, and career experiences in high school. To accomplish this K-12 college and career focus, we will need support from business leaders, community members, elected officials, the Chamber of Commerce, and parents. We named this initiative Katusa Connects. Elementary school years are an ideal time to foster children's enthusiasm about what do they want to do when they grow up. Typically in elementary school, students want to work in the careers they have seen. Teachers, nurses, doctors, and law enforcement professionals. We plan to reinforce these careers and also expose students to careers in other fields they may not have thought about, including technology and engineering. We believe students who are exposed to career opportunities early will see college and high demand careers as achievable goals. Elementary activities may include get on the bus with us. We will retrofit a bus to highlight different careers and take the bus with business professionals to elementary schools. Georgia's Career Technical Agricultural Education Division includes career guidance and classroom activities that we will utilize to support with guest speakers. The Department of Labor sponsored the Georgia Best at School program to facilitate classroom discussions about soft skills that led to success at school, at work, and in life. Fifth grade students will participate in a From Here to Career Academy field trip led by Academy Student Ambassadors. The focus in middle school will shift to career exploration to help students determine careers that are a good fit for them. We currently use the U Science Aptitude and Interest Assessment in ninth grade. This is a comprehensive aptitude and interest assessment that helps students understand their aptitude, natural abilities, and interest. A detailed report matches their aptitude and interest to identify best fit careers. U Science has added components for middle school and we are implementing their snapshot in the seventh grade. We had a great opportunity to partner with the Junior Achievement Discovery Center in Dalton, Georgia. Sixth grade students participate in BizTown, where they will interact with a simulated economy and take on the challenge of running a business. Seventh grade students participate in Finance Park, which is an immersive simulation that enables students to develop skills to successfully navigate a complex economic environment and discover 
how today's decisions can impact their future. Students will attend a field trip to the From Here to Career Academy to explore career opportunities with instructors, students, and guest speakers from industry. CTAE Career Awareness and Georgia Best at School units will continue throughout middle school. The focus in high school will shift to career experiences to help students develop a post-graduation plan and to help them understand the steps they need to take in high school to achieve their life goals. Our goal is for every high school student to understand how they will transition from here in a Catoosa County high school to their future in a career. Ninth grade from here to career class. Every ninth grader participates in this semester long class to understand their youth science results develop a post-graduation plan that includes technical school or a four-year degree, participate in life skills instruction and professional skills training, and to develop a resume. Tenth grade students will visit the From Here to Career Academy for a career fair that includes business and industry professionals and career counseling. In partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, High school students will participate in Life Skills 101, which will focus on financial literacy and necessary life skills, including automobile maintenance. Job experiences are critical for students to understand careers. The system purchased virtual job shadowing to allow students to explore over a thousand jobs and get career advice. They will also partner with the Chamber of Commerce and business partners to expand work experiences in career fields. Throughout high school, the system will focus on college and career counseling. Some careers need technical skills, while others need degrees. For college-bound students, schools will provide workshops on applying for college and financial aid. In 2023, the system will open the From Here to Career College and Career Academy. The journey to opening an academy began with a business and community listening luncheon in 2017. With overwhelming support, the Board of Education moved forward with this initiative. College and career academies are specialized charter high schools that partner with business and industry as well as post-secondary institutions to prepare students for high-demand careers in the region. The From Here to Career Academy will open with eight pathways that include law enforcement and emergency management, nursing and therapeutic services, construction management, welding and machine tool technology, logistics and supply chain management, information technology and cybersecurity, teaching as a profession, and industrial systems technology and mechatronics. Pathways will be available as dual enrollment with GNTC and Dalton State College, so students may earn up to 30 hours of free college credit. Pathways are vertically aligned for students to continue post-secondary education if they choose, or students may enter the workforce in good paying jobs. Students participate in professional skills training with a talent development specialist one block a day per week. This is so that they are prepared with the work ethic and soft skills that businesses are desperately seeking. Katusa U, the system paid student internship program, will align with the technology department and be expanded to align with academy pathways including teacher's aides and healthcare techs. Industry partners will also provide work experiences aligned with their pathways. This new charter system contract began on June the 1st, 2022. We are very excited about the focus for our new charter system initiative to prepare students in K-12 for college and career. Please discuss this plan with your local school governance team. We welcome your questions and input as we prepare our students to be good citizens and leaders of the future.